The reason why I committed to Cal is because of how open it is. Um, in terms of academics and just socially. It was the first college acceptance I got and I was feeling it's, it was the best. I have never felt anything like that afterwards, um, even for NYU Abu Dhabi. And I think, I think in the end, like the mentor um, and also like me just boiling down to like what I felt when I got in, I kind of knew that like UC Berkeley is the place for me. When I got into Berkeley, um... It's, it was a completely different environment than I've been used to my whole life, you know? And, but I wanted to get out there and, and experience a school that not only is like one of the best schools in the entire world, but also just has such a diverse group of students. My mom went here, my uncle went here, my grandma went here. And I don't know, it just, it, so it's, it was already right off the bat, like a, had a leg up, I guess, over the other schools I got into. And then I toured, UC Santa Barbara in March of my senior year, right after I got into both Berkeley and Santa Barbara. And I remember being there and just thinking like, this is like way too chill for me. Like this is not the vibe that I'm looking for. Um, and so I came home from Santa Barbara and I committed to Cal. Um, and I guess the last part of the story is I came for, for Cal Day after I'd committed and was kind of just like, what did I get myself into here? This is like a little crazy, um, but you know, I don't regret it. I'm so glad I love being there. I really like that the campus is kind of like infused with the city itself. Like the dorms are not located like in like in the per uh, perimeter of campus, but like actually on the streets of Berkeley. And sometimes you need to like walk or bike to to school and to you know, explore kind of the areas around um, the campus instead of like you know staying inside the bubble of campus. Berkeley just being such a big school. Um, my favorite part about it is just, especially when you're in person, every day walking out of that campus was just like a new adventure. You know, every day, you know, you go to your classes, you do your regular thing, but something would always happen. You'd go to the library, you'd meet somebody new, you'd, you'd, you'd talk to somebody new in your classes, you'd bump into somebody in the halls, you'd have a, you know, interesting chat in the dining halls. It was such a, it was such a, it's such an amazing kind of metropolitan environment. The great thing about Cal in terms of academics, what they do is they give you, you know, the breadth system. And so um, you're able to explore different areas um, that you may possibly be interested in, you know, I used to be pre-med my entire life, but after coming to Cal, I actually switched to being pre-law. And I don't think I would have like found that if I didn't come to Cal. In the beginning of freshman year, I was like very worried that I wouldn't get anything. Got rejected from a ton of clubs, got rejected from a ton of organizations, just everything and internships and stuff like that. And I think I was just feeling really down. Um, but in the end, like there's always opportunities no matter where I look, it doesn't have to be like exactly what I think it is, but then it still, yeah, it still exists. And so I think that the abundance of opportunities and people who are passionate about what they do really makes me love UC Berkeley. Go Bears! I really like the political activism around Berkeley. Um, it shows that people care, unlike a lot of other schools nowadays where there's like some sort of political thing that happens once in a while where there's like a march or something. It, everything is happening at Berkeley all the time. I feel like we are in some ways very diverse. We're just a diverse group of people on the surface, but in the way that we think, I think we're all actually pretty similar, which is really cool. Because I feel like a lot of the kids, in, most of the kids who got into Berkeley were like pretty high up in their, in their high school class. And like, then you come to Cal and you're like normal. And at first it's kind of a, it's kind of a hard thing. Um, at least it was for me, I guess maybe that's like an ego, th I don't know. But like at first it was for me, but then it ended up being like a really great thing to not be, like to just be at the same level as everybody else and like have my friends care about school in the same way that I did. It's because I met a group of guys like in the house, like the whole house, honestly, it just felt like my 
friend group back home, they all like reminded me of how things back home were. And like, I found a group of people who I was able to like call my friends. And that's like the group of people that I have now, they give me the sense of comfort at Berkeley that I needed. The high school that I went to is a very like tight knit, small, like cooperative, but kind of weird environment. And I knew I wanted to go to a place where it was big and I had anonymity um, so I can like make mistakes and learn and not have everyone know my business all the time. And being able to like pick and choose and like assemble who I like spend my time with, who I like the, the different groups of people that I do different things with, whether it be, whether it be art, whether it be uh, like studying, whether it be like having, like going out and stuff. Um, it's been, it's been incredibly, it's incredibly nice to have like different friend groups. I love, I love how much school spirit Berkeley has. I love it. I like my high school had no school spirit and like, I love, and I know we don't have it right now, but soon, soon, hopefully game days. I love game days and just going out in your cow gear and just like saying go bears all the time, like football games and great campus too. I mean, I can just, I can go on and on. Great food in Berkeley, close to San Francisco. Everyone is just so amazing here at Cal and they're, you know, very chill and very opening, open and accepting. I think that a lot of the people that I've met at this school are just good people and they, they care for others, they're kind, and, and they wanna do something good for the world. Um, and they wanna work together with people, and they wanna collaborate to make the world a better place. Um, and I think, like, honestly, that's one of my favorite things about Berkeley, is just that, like, this is a good school because it has good academics, but it's also a good school because it has good students.